is uh, 9 p.m. in RTD. It's time to English New Edition for, toni for tonight's headlines. Uh, we have the head of state uh, proceeds uh, to the ceremony of laying the first stones of foundation of a modern residential city. For the international scene, Washington sanctions are raining down on Iran. Welcome to our newsroom. Uh, the President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Margele, proceeded to the stone laying ceremony of a modern residential city called New City. This ambitious project of a real estate investment group Al Hamdani is located in the north of Djibouti city at Pika 12 uh, and near. At near the Al Umma Mosque, consisting of more than 200 duplex villa in a shopping uh, in a shopping center, is a diversity of uh, uh, recreational uh, activities that uh, uh, satisfy our self. Kesina tamakuma Upon his uh, arrival, the head of state was welcomed by Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Khan, Mohammed, the Minister of Health, uh, Mohammed Warsamadiri, and Kuwait Ambassador to Djibouti, Yusuf Hussein Al Qabandi, as well as the Chief of the Ministry of Health, uh, the Kuwait delegation. Uh, let's remember that uh, the inauguration of this new center is first of the genius in Djibouti, is part of the activity related uh, to the 42th anniversary celebrations of the country's national independence. And uh, after the official inauguration, the President of the Republic accompanied senior officials as assigned uh, an inspection uh, towers of the various facilities and equipment of the center that will uh, provide uh, exceptional medical care to patients. Head of State, Mal Margele, received explanations uh, on various surgical operations that will be conducted by the centers, particularly those related to the health, uh, brain, and heart cataract. Uh, attended this event, the President of National Assembly, Muhammad Ali Ahmed, many members of government and as well as uh, civil uh, uh, military dignitaries. Uh, it uh, should also be noted that the international association is called Ar Rahma has contributed effectively uh, to the effort undertaken by government of Djibouti but led by the President of the Republic in various files in particular with regards to the health. Uh, after the inauguration uh, ceremony, the Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil uh, Mohammed uh, has presided over the official ceremony, which brought together several uh, members of government, including the Minister of Health, uh, Ambassador of Kuwait, accredited to our country. L the event was attended by the head of the Kuwaiti delegation, Rashid Salim Al Umari, as well as member of the Diplomatic Corps, uh, the Director of Al Rahma Hospital, Mohammed Al Chalqawi. Uh, delivered speech in which he welcomed the member of government uh, and senior officials who honored the ceremony of the inauguration surgery center, cardiac cerebral and nervous of cardiac characterization of a Rahma hospital. Uh, I stress that these centers will uh, contribute uh, to the provisions of uh, treatment uh, 
for his part, the head of the delegations of Kuwaiti Rashid uh, Salim uh, Allah Mumeri, in his speech in the various programs and activity of Al Rahma, said that the head of the Kuwaiti delegation is praised the strategic partnership between his uh, institution and uh, the government of Djibouti. For his part, the ambassador of uh, uh, Kuwait in Djibouti, Mr. Yusuf Hussein Al Qabandi, said in his speech the great roles played by the state of Kuwait has taken its decade to contribute uh, uh, by the has taken uh, to the development effort of the brotherly and the friendly countries have uh, even been selected by the United Nations as a global hub for humanitarian action. As Ambassador Kabandi highlighted the good uh, relations between the state of Kuwait and the Republic of Djibouti, which has uh, experienced a remarkable development in uh, recent years, thanks uh, to the Emir of uh, Kuwait, Sheikh uh, Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabra Sabah, and the President of the Republic, Ismail Omar Gele. For his part, uh, the Minister of uh, Health, uh, Mohamed Wabiri Diriye, said uh, uh, praise the strategic partnership between Al Rahma Institution and the government of Djibouti, stressing the great importance uh, and uh, the great importance uh, of uh, the development project undertaken by Al Rahma in Djibouti over the last two decades, and the auspices of the President of the Republic, uh, Ismail Omar uh, Gele. Uh, the President uh, of uh, the Republic, uh, His Excellency Ismail Omar uh, Gele, has uh, proceeded to the stone lanes uh, of the ceremony of a modern residential city called New City. This uh, ambitious project of a real estate investment uh, group of Al Hamdani is located in the north of Djibouti city at uh, Pika 12 uh, near the Al Umma. Mosque, consisting of more than uh, 200 uh, duplex villa. The, it should be remembered that this, uh, the president of uh, Al Hamdani Group has indicated in his speech uh, that this project consists of a wide range of modern residential and commercial uh, property with a modern infrastructure such as park of uh, schools, mosque with a panoramic views of the sea. This villa will be in harmony with the cultures of the countries. Uh, the foundation stones uh, of the this residential complex that was laid uh, this morning by the number of the republic is part of the democratization of access to housing which is major priority of the government uh, For his part, the General Director of the National Agency for the Promotion of Investment, uh, uh, Mahdi Darar Ossia, for his part, insisted uh, to the Insisted of more than 200 duplex uh, uh, shopping centers, diversity of recreational uh, center, and uh, to that meet the quality of life, uh, satisfying and safe uh, environment. Uh, in short, all the aspirations that combine is uh, the expectations of the citizens. Uh, 
the Minister of Housing, is, uh, Amina Abdi Ahm, Amina Abdi Aden, is, uh, she said uh, that uh, range modern is. Uh, of uh, residential and commercial property with a modern infrastructure such as uh, park, a park, uh, schools, and mosque with a panoramic views at sea, and uh, the that will be in harmony with the cultures uh, of the country. The foundation stone of this residential complex that was laid uh, these uh, mornings by the member of the republic is part of the democratization of access to housing, which is major priority for the government. She said. Uh, After the Djibouti Army Forces, the National Gendarmerie and the Ministers of Defense, uh, Hassan Omar uh, Mohamed uh, Burhan, continues his towers of contact institutions under the supervision of his department. The next step for the Minister of Defense was the National Pension Fund. Uh, the National Pension Fund is uh, covered by its names. The military personnel, it should be noted that these funds uh, are financed by contributions uh, from employees uh, on arrivals in the buildings housing. This fund, the Minister Hassan Umar uh, Mohammed Burhan uh, received a warm welcome uh, from the senior management and employees of this naval institution. For the outset, uh, the Minister of Defense went accompanied uh, by the head of the CMR, the different uh, premises of this fund, uh, and was able to personally inquire about the work and seriousness. Uh, the Minister of uh, Budget, Abdul Karim Aden Shares, has uh, still there as part of his uh, contact towers. Uh, should yesterday in the afternoon, say, so move to the directions of customs and indirect right, the Director General of this noble institution, Mr. Guled Ahmed Yusuf, uh, warmly welcomed the ministers and the strong delegations that accompanies in his trip. After the reception, the minister went to the meeting rooms of the Directorate General of Customs and Indirect Law, or a slide projection was made to inform the minister and fully about the organizations and missions of the Nobel institutions. The Minister of uh, Labors and Reforms Administration, uh, Isman, Isman Ibrahim Roble, has received this morning the Japanese ambassador to Djibouti, the Japanese ambassador Mr. Koji Yonetani. Uh, first, congratulate the ministers on his recent appointment as head of this uh, ministerial department. Then he mentioned the bond of friendship, fraternity, and cooperation existing between the two countries, Japanese and Djiboutians. Uh, the, for his part, the Minister of Labor, Isman Ibrahim uh, Roble, recalled the support uh, of uh, assistance provided by Japan to the Republic of uh, Djibouti. As part of the National Week of uh, Blood Donations, uh, the Health uh, Centers uh, of uh, Blood uh, Dispatches launched the Minister of Health, Mohamed Warsama Dirie. Uh, the National uh, Blood Transfusion Center is, uh, has set up uh, collections of booths in Mahmoud Harbi Square within the marriage of the Djibouti. A specialized vehicle will be posted at the scene until June 26, uh, 2019 to collect blood packs directly from anonymous donors. Uh, Uh, following the tragedy or last Fridays at sea, after intense searches operation, the guard of the Coast Guard of Djibouti and the uh, Tajura people have uh, fished the remains of a woman, Umuna Kaku, Umuna Abu Bakr Kaku, and his nephew, two years, at the side of uh, Dulul Sea in Tajura. Following this tragedy, the prefect of Tajura and the prefect of uh, Obok, the civil authorities of the city of Tajura, the vice president of the regional council of uh, Obok, Ahmed Mohamed Ali, sent uh, their sincere condolences to the family of the dead. As part uh, of the promotion uh, of uh, human rights protection program in uh, Dekhil, uh, the management committee of Kurabus organized this uh, morning uh, in uh, this Monday is uh, uh, a community dialogue on the right uh, of the child at the community center of uh, Gorabus. Uh, participate in this activity of social mobilization of many personalities uh, uh, 
from uh, the localities of Gorabus to know the village's chief, Mr. Hassan Ahmed, the coordinators of the CDC, Mohammed Hassan Mohammed, as well as the men of women, young people, uh, and he, this of this locality, this activity, aimed to promote the right of the child and to the representative uh, of uh, community. For the international uh, scene, the uh, United States uh, flow down raining uh, sanctions uh, into the irons. Uh, listen to the report. Secretary General worries about escalating sanctions between Washington and Tehran while Iran shut down an American drone on Tuesday. The United States retaliates with the new sanctions and did not completely dismiss the military option. Everyone must keep their nerves, said the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. It is essential to avoid any form of escalation. The world cannot afford a major clash in the Gulf, he explained. After Donald Trump's cancellations of the retaliatory strict on Iran, his national security advisor, John Bolton, who is visiting the Middle East, remains very aggressive. Neither Iran nor any other hostile actor should confuse the, the auction and discretion of the United States with weakness, he said. Sanctions are hitting Iran. Even harder sanctions have struck tonight. Iran will never have nuclear weapon, neither against the United States nor against the world. This is it uh, for the news. Thanks uh, for watching us. Uh.